what's shaking is bacon and as i've told you guys with this call of duty i am changing my formula i'm switching things up i'm experimenting and i'm trying new things out and firstly i wanted to try out these kill streaks you know mix it up test different ones each game see how they work and i gotta say i'm not feeling them these kill streaks really let me down and make me sad like I shouldn't be sad that I'm devouring the other team, that I'm taking off and getting all my streaks. I shouldn't feel sad about that, but I do. Because they just are very, very disappointing. There are a few good ones, a few great ones even, but even they falter at times. And it's not to say that they're bad kill streaks, it's just the situation and how things work in this game. Oh yeah, and I have a habit of saying kill streaks because I've been playing since like Modern Warfare 2 and that's all we called them kill streaks, but they're score streaks. Just remember that. But with these score streaks, like the UAV has always been in COD. It's the most basic thing ever. It's been weird in different CODs like ghosts. But it is basic. It's one of the simplest kill streaks to get, and you're supposed to get it a lot. But in this game, it is 500 points. And in TDM, that means five kills. It'll be on a five kill streak to get a UAV. And then in Kill Confirm, which is what I play a lot and what a lot of people have been moving towards a lot for the points. And, you know, it's easy to level up in that game mode. But yeah, in Kill Confirmed, it would take you 10 kills to get a UAV if you don't pick up any tags. If you pick up tags, that, of course, is going to be reduced. That's five tags, pretty much. You mix that in with your kills and bada bing, bada boom, you got your UAV. But my problem is, in Kill Confirmed, I take off. I am able to kill people really fast and rapidly. But I can't always pick up those tags, you know. I'll sometimes wait on the tag because people are really money hungry in this game. Like, they slide into the tags. You can expect them. You can wait on them. And they'll just jump into that tag. They'll boost into it. They'll slide into it. Anything, as long as they're getting it. They'll do all that, and then you just pick them off. But what I'm left with is not two tags, but one. Because that guy might have picked it up already. I'm not just going to stop him because, you know, I can't kill him in that speed, that burst. So, you know, I take him out. The moral of the story is I can't get all the tags, so I'm missing out, and I'm not getting my score streaks. But... There are people who are just tag hungry and get like raps in the beginning of a game. I was in a game with my boy Venuity and this guy on the other team had four kills, zero death. And it was like enemy raps inbound. And we're like, what the hell? The game just started. Like four kills was the max. Like nobody passed four kills, but this guy already had raps. How? Because he was picking up everybody's tags. Everyone on his team, he pretty much stole their tags. And that is disgusting. I mean, I'm playing kill confirmed, and it's really aggravating because I'm say I um, I'm on a kill streak. I'm on a score streak, I guess, and I'm really close to my score streak. And what happens is people will steal my tags. I'm running to it. I'm just like you know, I'm jogging to it because I already got the kill. I'm feeling good about myself. But then someone just wants to slide in. <laughs> I got it. Like what? I get 25 points for that. In the old CODs, you used to get way more points where people picking up your tags. So you would just leave them. You'd feel good. You'd be like, all right, I'm going to be a kind citizen because there's an incentive for me to, you know, let that lay there and you guys take it up. The incentive is gone now. Now it's just a frenzy for whoever can pick up tags. There's no more like sportsmanship. And I know there's a lot of little kids who play Call of Duty, even though it has a mature rating. And this isn't a good message to them. It's just saying be selfish and jump into other people's tags. It's promoting theft, if anything, man. I don't really like it. And it just makes it a whole lot harder for me to get these streaks. And once again, they do not grow on trees. But let's say that you did get your streaks. You got all your streaks and you're popping them. You're putting them up in glory. You're feeling good. You're glowing. But guess what? They're blowing them up. That's all that happened to me this weekend, man. This entire weekend, people just blew everything I put up in the sky up. Even on the ground, anything, any kill streak that I put up, it was destroyed. It was ridiculous. I mean, I was getting like the Wraith and that thing's supposed to be cloaked. It's supposed to hide from them, make sure they don't kill it. No, 
it just boop wraith inbound wraith gone it's pathetic you put up wraps i didn't even know you could destroy wraps like i'm not talking about the little roly polies on the ground no i'm talking about the ship that delivers it they say mayday 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 i'm like who the hell is calling me this what i put up wraps not a wraith what the hell's getting destroyed the rap machine it's really bad and i've been trying out the cerberus the cerberus don't use it unless you're better than i am with it because i really hate the cerberus you know you have to like plan out where it lands where it's gonna drop and i'll put it in like a good position you know where the enemy team is all choked up in and it does nothing it doesn't get any kills so you know, I try to remote control it. You know, I can get a few kills, but it's not really doing much. Especially in Kill Confirmed. If you're going to be controlling these drones, it's not going to do much for you because you can't pick up these tags. So you're getting way less points than you should. You're getting like 25 points per kill, and that is absolutely nothing. It's not really doing anything for your next score streak, so there's no really a point in using it while controlling it fully so you might as well just you know have it rolling next to you and such but the Cerberus is slow man that thing is really slow and clunky I'm scared to go off of ledges I'm on that like train map and <laughs> I really am scared to drop down I feel like it's just gonna tumble and break so it's just a walking brick you know, other people use these streaks, these Cerberuses, and I'm scared shitless, man. I'm booking it. Everybody's running for their lives. And generally, I do get away. And I guess that is a clear indication that these things don't really work that well. Because I'll look at it, and I'll just go in the other direction, and I'm good. But there was this one time where I put it up. I put the Cerberus up in, like the best position ever like the entire enemy team was over there and i felt good i was like all right my server is about to put in work it's about to go down and literally it went down it said service online service offline I, my cerberus i had to check the map my cerberus yes it was my cerberus the second it came out of that little box that little crate somebody just boop, destroyed it these people have golden rocket launchers. I saw this. They have golden rocket launchers. Isn't that disgusting? Doesn't that scare you? I mean, if they have golden rocket launchers, what's the point of killstreaks anymore? Everything can be destroyed with a rocket launcher, except for, say, like the hater or the power core. The hater's pretty nice, but that thing can be destroyed easily, not literally, but easily by a counter UAV. A very simple kill streak. You put that up, boop, no more hater. I guess they can destroy that, but still. Like it's it's just a mess, man. People love destroying anything I put up, even the simplest things. UAVs. Counter UAVs. These people will destroy your care package truck. I mean, it's really bad. But yeah, there are kill streaks that are just complete trash. Like the lightning strike, that thing is a joke because not only does it tell the enemy when it's gonna fall like when it's going to drop down but it literally tells the enemy when you just open up the little laptop hologram when you just look at your map and decide where it's targeting it's like lightning strike targeting like what why are you telling them that i mean tell them when it's about to drop down and it's ready to go no it's like before we even go into the fight it's saying oh no no it's coming i see it but nothing's there yet it's ridiculous and what's even more ludicrous is the rolling thunder now the rolling thunder is something that a lot of people are using lately it's pretty good you get you know triple kills double kills quads it's really nice but what isn't nice is what the scythe does to it you know that robot guy I saw a video and it was the most insane thing I've seen on this game thus far that can be done all the time pretty much. You put the scythe up, you know, get your little robot arm, just shoot up into the sky. It's like Space Invaders 
and these things are dropping down you just you can destroy them all and you get so many points you can pretty much get all your streaks by just doing this if you want to see it in action i will leave a link in the description it's a drifter video it was crazy like if i see rolling thunders coming through and i have a scythe on me i'm doing that i want my points and also it looks like a ton of fun i could do that in private match all day if i could you know get someone to just put up rolling thunders but yeah that shit is dope but that's not how it should be it shouldn't be dope for the other team it should be dope for you and that's why i think these kill streaks aren't worth it they pretty much suck i i'm really not feeling them but that's just because they're so easy to destroy and so easy to counter now i guess i should be grateful that you know games aren't gonna be just complete domination because someone has maxed out their streaks and are just putting them up but sadly on my team nobody ever blows anything up it's always the other team blowing my stuff up i put a uav up it's gone counter uav up it's gone anything i put up is gone but on my team we just let that shit sit up there it, we let it to get comfy we give it like you know space on the couch and just relax with it and it is just wrong. I hope you guys have better luck with this stuff than I do. And I also hope you'll like, subscribe, all that jazz. And I will catch you in the next one.